Hi guys, Tunsim here. Uh, today I'm going to go through a quick solo queue tier list for the latest Cypher and Scissor patch. Now, just a disclaimer at the start of this tier list, I think you can play pretty much anything in solo queue and have success due to the large scale variances in solo queue. However, there is clearly different strengths between the mons in solo queue. These are also just my opinions. I'm going to try and run through this pretty quickly. Uh, you can see these tiers on the side. But not in game, not good, playable, good, broken, and Mew. Uh, it's going to be really shocking what goes in the Mew tier. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly run through. Venusaur, I just put in not good category. I think it doesn't do particularly well into a lot of things right now. You could probably do something with Blissey Venusaur, but it's not the best. Gengar will go straight into broken. Uh, Gengar is very strong in solo queue. X and Dream Eater, both builds are uh, very powerful. Very good at killing people that are worse than you. Mime, also broken in solo queue. Uh, this build is mainly power swap confusion. Extremely hard to 1v1. Extremely good farmer in lane. And with energy and pure unite move, pretty much one shots most of the damage dealers. Snorlax, I would put in playable. Now for, yeah, it's just a tank. Doesn't farm particularly well, which is always a negative in solo queue. Does have good lane in though. And uh, it's hard to deal with, but in solo queue, you're really looking to be killing people a lot of the times. Now, if you're... This isn't to say this character can't get value. It's just if you're looking to carry in solo queue, it's not going to provide much. Gardevoir, I'd move into playable. There are a lot of better options than Gardevoir. In its same role. I.e. Mew, Delphox. Do pretty much similar things to it, just a lot better. It doesn't lane particularly well, so generally if you lane it, you're expecting to be behind. But it can do well once you get set up, so I'm going to leave it in playable. Absol, I'm going to put into good. Similar to Gengar, however, really good farmer. I map mobility, can snowball lead, however, not as consistent as the other broken ones, I think. But a good option though. Garchomp? Goes in not good. Garchomp really suffers on this map. Uh, you could play like a sort of macro style where you just walk around and hit objectives. However, compared to Remote Stadium, you're just not... I can't really explain what it is. It just doesn't feel as strong. There's also less Blissies. Blissies on your team and on the opposing team are really good for Garchomp. Because you won't get punished by tanks. If a tank's more popular, there's usually a Mime. Awful matchup in the Guard Swap Mime. Power Swap Mime. Lucario, I'm going to put into good. Uh, yeah. Just a solid option. Good lane in. Easy to stack in solo queue. Uh, both builds are fine. Power punch and uh, extreme speed. But uh, lacking the power of these broken options. Crustle, I'm going to put into playable. Okay, laner. Uh, X is, a, is mainly what I'm thinking about here. Exes is pretty strong, especially into some of these speed disruptions that Galar play. You can pretty much one hit them. But yeah, generally, if you're in Solo Q, you're going to want better than this, but you can definitely play the Crustle and get some results. Ranger. I'm going to put into good. Uh, Granger, excellent farmer. Once it's set up, uh, can easily carry a game. Not as consistent at it as these other broken ones. I believe however you know a good option definitely prefer it in the jungle than laning talonflame i'm gonna put into good talonflame's kit has always lent itself to solo queue extremely hard to kill in a solo format you can play score pressure or you can play kills yeah talonflame's a good option solo queue charizard is broken uh you can lane it or jungle it however it is better in the jungle the reason being is that all four of its spells are now good, which allows you to be extremely flexible into what you're playing into. Whether you need to flare blitz onto squishy targets to kill them, or fire blast to kite, flamethrower and fire punch, I believe, are probably interchangeable now. Unite is extremely powerful in a solo queue format. You basically just get to walk up to people and kill them. Yeah. Extremely strong in solo queue. Aurora, I'm going to put into playable. Mm, it's a bit like it. So, 
I'm trying to order them in colors, guys, by the way, not like thing. Support last. So, Zorora is okay in solo queue. I feel like it's worse than the other speedsters at this point. Um, you can still get things done with this. You can still kill people easily. You can probably go any of the spells, to be honest. But I think it's worse at farming, scoring, and killing than most of the other speedsters, so I'm going to put it in playable. Cinderace, I'm going to put it into playable. This is going to be primarily jungle. Cinderace is very good at killing these squishy characters. It's also very good at dying to these squishy characters. The speedsters, Mew, Glaceon, uh, pretty much a 50 50 on all of them. With the ray changes to health, like they nerfed ray health, you can actually flip ray pretty easily as Cinderell, which is making it better in solo queue. But yeah, you will leave it in playable. You can definitely play Cinder and not feel too bad about it. Aldegoss, you can put it in playable. You should still be okay. You may be slightly concerned with how much this there is. But you should still be able to play this. You want to play A press in lane, hit the other people so they die, and then get ahead like that. And then, uh, yeah. There is a one shot Aldegoss build with X attack. It's like energy amp and like stack inspector sync, which might be good in Silicon at all. Alt should be fun though in Silicon Valley. Ram should be good. <clears throat> I think you would lane this now. I think the other options in jungle are too strong, but I think you could lane this. Uh, fairly successfully. You could probably jungle it as well fairly successfully. The Unite move is still really powerful, especially into all these squishy options that are really uh, potent right now. And in lane, you should be able to get a lead with. Uh, well, I know how the lane is cram You can watch my cram jungle guide. Or my cram dive cram guide, which goes to a laning guide, I believe. Blastoise should be playable. Uh, the buff the Unite move was pretty nice. I still think you should probably play Rapid Spin over Surf, but Surf is better now. Yeah. Decent laning. And uh, strong Unite move. You can uh, you can get some things done as Blastoise. I think as a area option, it's worse than these. Pikachu, I'm going to put into playable. Strong laner. Ball tackle is annoying for these guys. Unite move is. I'm actually convincing myself that it's pretty good. Unite move is pretty good at solo killing most of these mods. Yeah, I'm going to leave Pikachu in good. I think uh, you can get a lot done with Pikachu in solo here. Get some solo kills, keep the tempo, win your lane, very nice. Bolt tackle the uh, squishy carries. Nine tails, I'm gonna leave it not good. You can lane this and you're probably fine out of lane, it's just like, I would rather be much, like pretty much most other things than nine tails. I think you're missing a lot. Uh, I think. A meta shift is really what this character wants. But like, if you play like in the lane of Ninetales Wiggly, you could like easily snowball a lead, so. But like, is that really solo queue? I don't know. I'm gonna leave it not good. Small buffs, probably a little bit needed with the way the game is right now. But maybe it's only just a meta shift away from being good as well. Wiggly, I'm gonna put in playable. Uh, good laner. They buff the Unite move, yeah. Should be fine to play Wiggly in solo queue. Just help your carries get ahead. Be obnoxious on the uh, with your sings or rollouts. Even move is fine. You should probably still play Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I think Dazzling Gleam is probably better than the slaps, but I'm not sure. Big Wiggly fan. Slowbro, I'm going to put into good. Strong laner, strong Unite move in this format. All your spells are good. All four of them. Yeah. Slowbro's good in solo here, I think. Machamp, I'm going to move into playable. Where do I want to put this? Yeah. So, Machamp is interesting. Lanin is good. Uh, the Unite move feels worse in this map. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't feel too impactful right now. Maybe this might be incorrect. This might be good. I'm going to leave it in playable right now. The problem with a lot of these options 
the reason why some of these mons have gone down is because mine is so prevalent and Mew is so prevalent. And what the fuck do you do into Mew is my champ? Cry. Let's see, I'm gonna leave him playable. Strong later. Can you unite move your carries? Very nice. I'm actually gonna move it up to good. Strong laner, can you unite move your carries? Keep them alive. Uh, all your spells are good as usual. Yeah, Blissey is still good until you. I'm almost fine, I'm gonna leave him good. I think you have more kill pressure than these other tanks. Uh, it's extremely hard for some carries to kill you as well. I think Mammoth Swine is a very strong option, so like you. you can also play stack in. I think Indy, Inda, has a build to do this. I think you might guys might want to check out. Like an aggro ammo build, it might be like Muscle Attack with Cookie or something. Which is pretty strong in Solar Gear. Yeah. I mean, Mammoth Swine seems good. Sylveon, I'm going to leave in playable. Bad Lena, however, once you're online, you're pretty fine. Uh, yeah. Hyper voice this is. I do not rate Mystical Fire. Mystical Fire would be not good. Overall, this is a pretty fine option to play. You'd be fine to play Sylveon with Hyper Voice, uh, calm mind. Regent, I'm gonna believe in good. You can like play a rat style where you run around stealing farm, invading, uh, scoring. You can get a lot of done with Regent style. You can get kind of it can get kind of annoying with how OP some of the damage carries are, but I think you're still fine in Solo Queue. Consider I'm gonna leave him. Solo Queue, I'm gonna leave this in playable. You're gonna wanna jungle this. Laning is rough. The main problem you have is a lot of these mons that are good will just like teleport onto your screen and kill you. However, if you're smart with your spirit shackles, play out of vision well, you should be able to get some play out of this. Should be good enough for Solo Queue. Uh, I do not rate Razor Leaf in Solo Queue. I think it's bad. So don't play Razor Leaf. Dragonite should be good. Benefits from the nerf to Ray Health. Uh, decent laner, good in the jungle. The D Dance nerf is annoying. However, if you get blue buff, you probably negate it almost. Yeah, Hyper Beam is still strong. Outrage would probably be unplayable. I, Hyper Beam D Dance is probably in good. You can get some stuff done with Dragonite. I hardly see any Dragonites, to be honest, which is weird. I think people are probably just bored of it because of how OP it was for so long. Serena... Broken? Question mark? I think this is probably broken. However, a lot of the people who play Serena aren't very good at it. However, I think it's really strong in Solo Gear. The lane is weak, however, this mon is extremely hard to kill once it's online. There's also a tank Serena build around that's really annoying. And your Unite pretty much just kills a carry. So like you. It is very potent. I'm a big fan of Serena and so like you. Tree? Good or playable? I'm gonna go with good. Decent laner. Hard to kill. Annoying. Smite is kind of weak, however, you should just be able to stack up and kill a lot of people if you're good at tree. Sword is broken. You can lane or invade or jungle. You can do it all. Uh, invading is probably your best bet at level 1. Invade sword is extremely obnoxious to deal with in solo queue. In fact, I recommend you don't do it because I think it actually ruins the game, even though I have videos on me doing it. Don't do it. Especially if you're against me. Definitely don't do it against me. Uh, yeah. You can go Iron Head or White Guard now, I think. I think Iron Head is actually a lot stronger than before, though I would probably still prefer White Guard. Uh, Smites are objective. Strong laner, strong evader. Good into a lot of the mons that are popular. If you get good to this, like, you can 1v1 most things, like, big sword believer in Silicu. Koopa goes into playable. Strong laner, strong unite move. Uh, what spells are you going to want to use here? Hmm, probably like, you can go hyperspace or trick, to be honest. And then, I think Phantom Force is better, but Shadow Ball is still fine as well. Yeah, just, Koopa's fine. It's not inspiring, but, you know, 
It's okay. It's definitely a lot worse than it used to be. Duraludon should be unplayable. I would have put this probably in not good before the Ray Health nerfs. However, with Ray Health nerfs, your ability to flip is probably like completely playable, right? You get, a lot of these mons are really annoying to play against, but you know, you can get it done. I think you're good. Playable. Azu is broken, I think. Uh, one of Azu is. They basically accelerated your entire leveling curve, which means getting United 8 is really strong. United is spammable. It's really hard to kill Azu because of how much Aquatel heals it. And Water Pulse is just broken. You can also just go Water Pulse as well. I'm not a believer in player off. Yeah. You can go Water Pulse or Water Pulse with. Uh, you can go Water Pulse or Aquatel with Water Pulse, and I think you're in a good spot. Espeon is playable. Uh, yeah. Strong laner. Store power actually looks okay now. I'm just surprising. But yeah. You might want to go store power sometimes, but I'm still a believer in Slice Rock Side Beam. Strong laner. Uh, Unite move is okay into what's good. Definitely get ahead. But it can definitely fall behind if these things get ahead and start just killing you all the time. Dalfox isn't good. Uh, strong jungler Dalfox is. Still weaker than some of the other options, but uh, yeah, it's in a good spot. Flame charge, mystical fire, definitely strong. Spammable unite. Glacian is in. Make sure I do this right. Yeah, broken. It's every patch they just make it more annoying to play, but they don't actually nerf the build. I guess they are nerfing the build by making it more annoying to play, but you can still one shot people. You can still snowball. You can still kill everybody. I think if you play amp. Blue buff, black, uh, shell ball. You can still keep your wins up forever at a certain point. So I don't know. I don't know if that's what I would play. But yeah, this one is still broken. You still one shot things. But whoa, is it broken or is it good? I'm gonna say good for now. The jury is out on best wall. I'm still not sure if this is good or broken in solo queue. However, this is extremely strong. I think all four spells are strong now. Surprisingly. The laning is better with the fasting buffs and the attack buffs. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if this is broken yet or not, but it seems very strong. My preference right now seems to be Leech Life Smackdown. I think you could play all four moves. Yeah, I'm a Buzzwell believer. Tyranitar in solo queue. Could be good. I think you're likely strong. Good into AG slash, good into a lot of the other options. Problem is just so slow to get online. And Pubertar is a lot weaker than Charmeleon, which is why I have Charizard higher. I also think Charizard is just better than Toronto. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this in good. Uh lane it might be rough, you might want to jungle it, but you're probably still fine in lane. Mew, surprisingly, goes into not good, and by not good I mean the Mew tier. Uh Mew is the best mod in the game. It's bugged. But the bugs just make Mew worse. Mew is still the best mod in the game. Uh, yeah. I just don't have anything else to say. It's one of the best laners. It's one of the best junglers. It just has more spells than everyone else. And it has a tool for every situation. And once it gets ahead, it can just start walking around the map killing everyone. So, yeah. Mew is broken. It can also back up safely with Agility Surf. I'm not actually sure how most mods are meant to kill this in the late game when it has Agility Surf and Unite up. Yeah, still waiting on the Mew nurse. Now the big one, Cypher. I'm gonna put Cypher in good. I think the Unite move is actually really strong. Uh, Laning is okay, it's good in the jungle as well. Really good at one-shotting people. Cypher is on the harder end to play though, so you might have to get used to it. Especially hitting dual wing beat well to get the healing. But I think you can get a lot done in Cypher and Solo Queue. So yeah. If you're a Cypher fan and you haven't bought it yet, you can wait till it's out of gold. You'll enjoy it, I think. Um If you're struggling with Cypher, I recommend just practicing more and checking out my latest Cypher video. 
I play Razor Scope and Amp. I'm not sure if that's the best, but I was having a lot of success with it with Sword Stance. But I think double hit is fine as well. But yeah, I'm a Cypher Believer. Let's do Scissor before Dodrio. Uh, Scissor is not good. Scissor basically is not in the game, but I'll put it in not good. Scissor is very bad. The reason being is you do no damage. So you're a solo Qmon, you do no damage. Your lane is okay because you're Cypher in lane. When you turn into Scissor, your lane smite is now poor. The only thing you can do is stick to people and do a little bit of damage. You don't really have smiting potential. You're just annoyed. You're like a bug. Um, only if he's bug steal. You, people just swat you away slowly. Uh, Scissor needs buffs. When it has buffs, we'll come back to it. But at the moment, it's probably the worst one in the game in solo queue. And then Dodrio into Broken in solo queue. This one is just so stupid in solo queue. Like, it wins most 1v1s. It can move around the map super fast. And it just kills everybody. Yeah. I'm completely fine putting Dodrio in just Broken. I think my Broken tier is slightly too fat. So, I'm going to take one out. And if I have to take one out, I'm going to take out Serena. That into good. Uh, I don't want to take anything out of good. No, I'm quite happy with good. Now, Solo Queue tier lists generally end up different than uh, Five Stack tier lists because more things are like playable, right? You don't get punished as much in Solo Queue. I think this is fine. New, broken, good, playable, not good, fine game. Yeah. That's my uh, solo Q tier list for the Cypher Scissor release patch. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you disagree with me or agree with me about anything, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, or you can come ask me on my stream as well. If you uh, disagree or want to ask about more in depth why people are in certain tiers. I'm going to try and do these somewhat regularly. I don't know if I'll always do a video for them, but I'm going to try and like show a shift in my tier list as time moves on along the patches or as my opinion changes. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, peace.